head. Might still be stuck inside if we haven't been attacked. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Its casing crumbles beneath your hands, sloshing volatile brine as it collapses. to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. Please. Before they return. They return. Uh. A newborn. Born new from this husk. you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flares who abducted you. Notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Please, before they return! They return. from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm! At the helm, we are needed. The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. A gift. A gift. 
to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful, so powerful. We are going to the helm! My friend and I are going to the helm. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh! My head! What is this? Squaw, you are no thrall. Flakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. And you mine, though it pains me to say it. It is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our gay captain. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Time for stragglers. Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. Safe if she stays. Safe if we go. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you.
Use the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do. In your head. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to... cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Under a head. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. No, unless you count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far.
gorgeous company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Don't mistake blood for kinship. After everything you've been through, my name gives you pause. Please. That is none of your business. I suggest we concentrate on surviving. Very little. Supposedly, those monsters breed by planting their tadpoles in people's heads. Over time, the infected victim turns into a mind flare. I don't remember how long it takes, but we should hurry. Lead the way. You're alive. That's unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gail. Well met. The very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. Yes. The ocular penetration by an elithid tab pole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a Rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? There's a gust of weave about you, but it's a mere breeze. I need a tempest. It'll have to wait. The primary need is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as seromorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer, either. Powerful cleric, maybe? Hmm. Then we'll have to find one. And fast. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help. I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes. Deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see. You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Are you, Gibblebock? Everything all right out there? You sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key.
something just woke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Glacius! Harun! Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty baubles. Fools. Please, save your regrets. This place isn't worthy of them. Let's move. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? I am sure thou believest as such. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. <laughs>